Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codes Arcade. In today's video, we will be talking about finding the roots of a quadratic equation. I will be showing you a C program with the help of which you can find the roots of a quadratic equation. But before starting the video, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos and also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you get notifications about our latest updates. Thank you. So let's get started. So as I said, today I will be showing you how to find the roots of a quadratic equation with the help of a C program. So a general form of a quadratic equation is like this ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero where a b and c are the coefficients so to find the roots of a quadratic equation first of all you have to know the formula the formula is as you can see on the screen before that we need to know something we need to find a term so that we can find the roots of a quadratic equation the term is called the discriminant, which is represented as this b square minus 4 into a into c. So this term is known as the discriminant or this expression is known as the discriminant b square minus 4 into a into c. So there are three conditions depending on which the roots of a quadratic equation can be evaluated. The three conditions are b square minus 4ac or the discriminant less than 0 b square minus 4ac equal to 0 and b square minus 4ac greater than 0. So whenever the discriminant is less than 0, the roots are imaginary. And whenever the discriminant is equal to 0, the roots are real and equal. And whenever the discriminant is more than 0, then the roots are real and distinct. So as you can see here, these are the three conditions. Discriminant less than zero means the roots are imaginary. Discriminant equal to zero means the roots are real and equal. And discriminant greater than zero means the roots will be real and distinct. So let us go on to the editor so that I can show you the program with the help of which we will be calculating the roots of the quadratic equation. So here I am on my editor and you can see I have already written a program for you and this is the header file math.h which has to be included in our header files so that we can use the square root function which is included in the math.h header file. You can see here I have used the square root function. So let me show you and explain you the program line by line here this is my main function and here i have taken a double data type and taken these variables which are a b c then the discriminant then the root one root two and if the discriminant is less than zero then i have also taken the real part and the imaginary part you can see here and therefore I am taking the printf function with the help of which I am telling the user to enter the coefficients of a, b and c. And then finally with the help of the scanf function I am taking the input from the user and storing them in the variables a, b and c as you can see here. Then here I am calculating the discriminant b square minus 4 into a into c and also I am printing the value of the discriminant with the help of this print function. And now comes the three conditions as I told you earlier. The condition for real and different roots. As I told you, if the value of discriminant is greater than zero, then the roots will be real and different. And here I'm calculating the root one, which is minus b plus square root of discriminant divided by 2a. And this is the formula for root two minus b minus discriminant square root divided by 2a. Then I am printing the roots one by one. Then finally, just because the roots are real and different, I am printing this statement as well. The roots are real and different. 
and then if this condition is not satisfied then i am using the else if where the discriminant value is equal equal zero in this case the roots are real and equal so the formula is minus b divided by 2 into a for both the roots then here i am printing both the roots and finally if this condition is not true then finally the discriminant value will be less than zero so here what will happen i will print the real part and the imaginary part as you can see here so the real part is minus b divided by 2a and the imaginary part is the square root of the discriminant and then divide by twice a just because it is an imaginary part you can see that i have taken the minus sign in front of the discriminant and finally i am printing the real and the imaginary parts as you can see here with the help of this two printf statements so this is the complete logic behind this program and now i will run it so that i can show you all the three different conditions where we will be calculating the roots of this quadratic equation so let me run it for you so i'm just zooming it for you so that you can see it better let us try with the first condition where the value of discriminant is equal to 0 so here i will give the input see the value of a is 1 then the value of b is 2 and the value of c is 1 and i will press enter and you can see here discriminant is 0 and therefore as i said the roots are root 1 equal to root 2 equal to minus 1 so here it prints the roots are real and equal and now let us go on to check the next condition which is the roots are imaginary that is b square minus 4ac is less than 0 let me run it again and let me zoom it and here i will take the value of a to be 1 value of b to be 2 and the value of c to be 3 and then let me press enter you can see b square minus 4ac is less than 0 therefore root 1 is in the form of a plus ib as you can see here minus 1 plus 1.41 1 into i and root 2 equal to minus 1 minus 1.41 1 into i and it prints the roots are imaginary this is because it satisfies this condition the value of discriminant is minus 8 which is less than 0 and now let us see the final condition which is the value of discriminant is greater than 0 then the roots are real and distinct or unique let me run it again let me zoom it and let me show you the third output let me take the value of a to be minus 1 value of b to be 3 and the value of c to be 6 and press enter you can see here the discriminant value is positive and therefore the roots are real and distinct you can see they are different unique roots root 1 equal to minus 1.37 and root 2 equal to 4.37 therefore the roots are real and different now so this way you can calculate the roots of a quadratic equation where i told you there are three conditions discriminant equal to zero less than zero and greater than zero when it is equal to zero the roots are real and equal when it is less than zero the roots are imaginary when it is more than zero or greater than zero the roots are real and different and let me summarize with the formula the total formula is as you can see in the screen here root 1 equal to or all total let me show you all total minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 into a out of this if you have to extract root 1 and root 2 you can write like this root 1 equal to minus b plus b square minus 4ac square root divided by 2a 
and root 2 equal to minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 into a. So this is how you can calculate the roots of a quadratic equation with the help of a C program. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like share and subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post a new video. Thank you. Happy learning.